not even a revision <laughs> of these reels from today. And I noticed that I forgot to add the second concert in my high school. I had two concerts in my high school and then there was another concert in another school. So in one of the concerts in my high school, since you ask, <laughs> gives a, I was wearing the strap dress. And in the other school, which was like more knuckles, <laughs> obviously more knuckles, beer drinking, like simple town people, or half educated, <laughs> something like that. No, I wouldn't say half wit because, well, or maybe I would wear my leather pants with the, like, almost like the heavy metal outfit. <laughs> yeah, and my golden bond long hair. And the, pretty well but then I had at my high school the following year or the previous year I had another concert but this time I had a different setting it was more like vocal like a vocal ensemble thing like a more romantic setting less rock band setting and I have no clue what I was wearing because it was not necessary in my vision so the adequacy about it was in that vocal setting just anything yeah, handy with the guitar and double voices. Simple. Just like in your stupid, <laughs> which we don't have. Anything you wear, some pants, some sweater or whatnot. I don't remember. But I know I did not spend any attention yet. It wasn't next year. It wasn't even that I was also directing the choir. That didn't matter to me uh, 100%. But my main focus was that I was also now having a band. And I was the lead singer of a band plus the saxophonist. So I had to take care of making the whole thing presentable and worthy. On the other hand, I don't remember having talked to my band members about dress code at all. So I was probably the only one who for once was dressed up fashionable. And I remember that even Helga was there and took pictures and I think she was completely mind blown away. Yeah, you make me say that, it must have been true because I, I, she was like blown away at what she saw. Now she has been living with this unicorn or dragon lady for like all her life and never looked at me. <laughs> no, I was already not living with her. And I still yet felt that I was totally invisible. That's how German interact or the lack thereof. I'm going to continue listening now. I'm in the middle of it, see if I missed out on anything or need to add up anything. See ya. I had been kicked out when I was driving in the car and then the phone fell on the floor and then I picked it back up and blah, it got edited because it was just a, a mess. Yet I was uh, interrupted with that one phrase. So I grew up in an environment where people were supposed to know everything and if they wouldn't know, they would kind of hide it because it was socially unacceptable that a person wouldn't know. So no one would ask questions. And for me, that's absolutely idiotic. A person who is interested in asking questions is for me like the ultimate person who is like interesting to me. If, of course, there is an honest inquiry, an interest to get to know things. I remember that, for example, while I'm... So, for example, they wouldn't speak languages because it was just embarrassing <clears throat> to speak a different language without knowing the language. But again, it's absolutely absurd. How can you speak a language or learn a language when you don't know how it goes? You have to practice. So they called me El Perico. <clears throat> I was like a parrot. I was just repeating anything, any phrase. Yeah, if I think about it, I started as a child when we went to a trip that I would start imitating the accent where I was just because. So I learned like any language real quick because I didn't care for the people I went to think or say. What the fuck? I mean, are you stupid or what? I didn't say a word. I just said, why or whatever we want to do. And they looked like so tiny to me. All embarrassed. Wanting to ask me questions now since I came visit from Mexico. And they didn't... They were for, for, forbidden. And that, those were like the yuppies. I remember I was once visiting Mar Marcos. The idiots, the yuppies. And they're standing like assholes. Uh, immediately they became like tiny, tiny, tiny people. They couldn't really be growing into adults or interesting people whatsoever. Or they didn't learn languages, they didn't learn other cultures, they learned nothing. Staying stupid and ignorant. And I also went off to the world. Yes. It's a new song. Yay. <laughs> Did I wrote this song? I mean, I can do it just the same. <laughs>
that I wrote this song. <laughs> well, just like usual, it comes out of me naturally. Naturally. <laughs> now the lyrics to the melody offered there. Uh, who was, who's going to sing that? What's that again? I'm running out of time. Nah. I'm in your time. I remember what else. Da da dee da da. <laughs> da 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 da. da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, that's probably way too intellectual for Oxy. <laughs> I got a good time over to the real deal. <laughs> to the mine. Shit eyes. <laughs>